Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. What we are gonna cover in this video is what this mod pack does, which is, is the potato processing uh, mod. Um, we're gonna cover what it does. It came out um, on 8 16 of 2022. We're gonna go through all the buildings and products that you can make and use in this pack. We're gonna go through how to use the buildings and how to make all the products. And we're gonna talk about at the very end, a little test I did to find out, is it really worth doing? And actually I didn't really do a test to be fair. I just kind of did some math and calculations for you guys, which I'll show you guys a chart at the very end. Um, and again, if you wanna see more videos like this, please drop a comment down below. Um, let me know what mods you'd like to see a video on because I know we got a lot of production packs out there. So let me know if there's different production packs you'd like to see a similar video on or if you want me to do more videos like this in the future. Um, but yeah, without further ado, what does this pack do? So this adds a lot of different productions mostly revolving around potatoes. It adds a total of 16 new products, which we will cover as we go, and adds a total of five new buildings, which is really cool. Um, so we're gonna go through the buildings now, and we're gonna start with these greenhouses right over here. So these guys work just like any other greenhouse, except they now have the ability to make these three additional crop types, basically, um, which I have super strength on. Normally, you're not gonna be able to lift these guys um, or any of the pallets over there, but I have super strength on right now. So just wanted to note that. Um, these are peppers here, so you can make peppers, 700 liter pallets that weigh 305 kilograms. You also can make onions, 585 kilograms, 700 liters, and you can make um, cucumbers, which are weighing 585, um, and will have 700 liters of cucumbers in them. But just like any other greenhouse, you're just gonna put water in here, and then the pallets will spawn out here if you have them on storing, or if you can change it to anything else, um, which we'll go over that in a second here. And again, you can access it, um, and here you have midsize and large, and there, and we'll take a look at that screen in a second. The same thing over here, your pallets are gonna spawn out over here. You can go inside to access the wrench and you can put water in here. So to place these guys, we're gonna go into here, under production, go to greenhouses, and there's gonna be these guys right here that say potato processing mod at the bottom and have this little icon right here. And again, you can note that they will do lettuce, tomatoes, and strawberries in addition to the three new types, which are peppers, uh, cucumbers, and onions, which are pretty sweet. Um, now, if we do hop into our production menu here, uh, we have the mid-sized one, which you can see is gonna do, again, tomatoes, lettuce, and strawberries um, at the 672 cycles, so 672 tomatoes per month. It's gonna make 336 uh, liters of lettuce per month, 672 times two strawberry liters per month, so that's, what, 1,200, 1,300, some odd strawberries. Then we go down to these guys here. Um, their output's all one for each of them, except for onions have two there, so onions are gonna be very similar to strawberries as far as they're gonna reproduce quite a bit or they're gonna produce quite a bit. And then we have peppers and um, cucumbers as well in here, which are gonna produce at these rates up here. So peppers actually are worth quite a bit of cash. So peppers actually might be really worth doing even if you just did them uh, by yourself. And you can sell all these products individually as well um, if that's something that you want to do instead of actually use them further, uh, further on in the process. But just like any other uh, facility that has productions on it, over here you have storing mode. You can change it to selling where it's gonna automatically sell these products, but you are gonna take a little bit of a hit or you can change it to distributing where it's gonna move it further along in the process um, if it needs to do that. So those are a few different options. Make sure over here you go ahead and you activate if you want one of the productions to be running. Obviously it's not running right now because we're missing water. So we don't have water in there for you. So uh, yeah, pretty good. And this is a large one down here so you can see the production rates are a little bit different. They're just increased um, since it's a large greenhouse as opposed to the small one. Uh, but there you go. That is the two greenhouses that are showing up here in this pack. And again, these are the three products here that are new. Now, if we move over here, we have a couple of sell points here. So this first one here, if we go into the menu, we take a look at both of them actually in here. If we go under production, go to selling points. At the very end, you see the ones with the potato processing mod. Uh, so this one's $1, this one that's right here. This one will buy all those additional crop types, which it should scroll through in a second. Maybe it's not gonna do it. Of course, it's not gonna do it. Um, but it buys a lot of different products here, um, including stuff that's not even in this pack. Oh, there it goes. Now it's gonna start scrolling across. So you can see it's gonna take almost every single product um, in game in addition to the ones that are new to this pack. And a lot of those icons you may not recognize because they're new to this pack. We will talk about those here uh, later on. But yeah, this serves just as a sell point. It's a dollar to place. You can sell all those different products at this place here. The other one is this guy right here, which is a supermarket. Um, so this one will take a lot of these additional crop types and including some other things um, that a supermarket might take. Um, this works a little bit different. This one actually serves as a production point essentially, and I'll explain that um, a little bit later here. So um, if we hop out again to sell stuff, you're just gonna come up here and sell it. And then over here for this one, you're gonna sell it up front there. And this one actually might have a wrench um, around the front. Um, maybe it doesn't have a wrench on it. It does work like a production again, even though it is under sell points. Um, but let's talk about this one. So this one's a little bit unique. Um, it will hold a max if we go into um, the production. So if we go to production chains, you'll see it. It's this one that has all these little coins next to it here. Um, so if we go under here, 
potato processing. Um, so what is this gonna do? This is your turnover essentially over here, which I would change that to selling. I don't think it'll actually spawn out any um, pallets, to be fair, I don't think it will spawn any pallets that will register, so you have to have the set to selling for this all to work. But it will hold all these various products in through here, and you can see over here, and they're saying kind of the rate that you're getting. Um, if you wanna know actually how much you're making, you can go into the store, um, and you can look for, well, let's go down to the bottom, look at one of these products here, um, show current prices. Um, that's potato, that's the wholesale, darn it. It's not gonna show us our prices in there, so disregard that. It's not gonna show us our prices in there, I thought it would. But anyhow, you're gonna get money for these little coins, and there's not anything in here that tells you how much you're gonna get per coin. So I haven't run a test to see how much that is, but based on the way the mod has been, um, based on the mod description and how it's been uh, modded into the game here. Basically the concept here is all these products when you sell them at this specific point, with all of these points, again, you have to activate all these guys to get them to work. Um, you're gonna get 30% more than if you sold them at the other sell point over there. So you're gonna get 30% more if you sell them here. The problem is you're not gonna be able to sell all of them at once. Each one of these categories will only hold 4,000 liters at a time. So you can see everything over here that these will sell for you. They'll only hold 4,000 liters at a time. And again, it's gonna have limited cycles up here. So if we go up to the top one here, vegetable fat, um, it's only gonna be able to sell 1,200 liters per month of vegetable fat um, based on the cycles per month and what the cycle is. So most of them are similar to that. Some of them um, are gonna be about 1,440 and some of them will be up to 1,800. I think there's some 1,800s down at the bottom. There's some that are 1,440. At least I swore I saw one of those 1,800 when I looked at it. I know there is one in here. There we go, peppers right there so you can see uh, peppers are going to be 1,800 liters per month. That's about the most that it'll go right there. Uh, but again, you're going to make more. So it might be worth it to have this thing installed and, um, or excuse me, not installed, but have this thing placed and start using this. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Now past that, how do we make all these new products? So over here, this is the actual main production facility, which if we go into the store, um, we go into production factories, all the way down to the very end, the potato processing mod. We have this guy right here, which we can place. It looks very similar to, um, I think it's the great processing uh, mod, if I remember correctly. Um, great processing mod should be in here somewhere as well. Uh, yeah, here's the great processing mod. So it looks very similar. They're using that same building basically uh, for that. But regardless of that, it says the, the best of the potato right there on the top. And we get all these new crop types or all these new uh, products here. So we have uh, croquettes, potato pancakes, paprika chips, um, stuffed baked potatoes, potato salad, potato gratin, fried potatoes, mashed potatoes, potato soup, french fries, vegetable fat, premium potatoes, and starch. Starch is a little bit different. There's not a production chain per se to make starch. Starch is kind of a byproduct of when you make premium potatoes. That's why I noted it a little bit separately there. Uh, premium potatoes, starch, vegetable fat, and mashed potatoes are all ingredients in further products. Mashed potatoes are only used uh, further to be made into croquettes. Uh, but past that, these guys are used in several of the recipes, which we're going to go over in a second. Um, and then again, at the very end, I'm going to talk about if it's actually worth doing any of these productions. So we'll talk about that. But if we go in here and we scroll up to this guy right here, let's work our way through some of these things here. So we have three ways to make vegetable fat. So we can either put sunflower oil, uh, canola oil, or we can put soybeans in to get vegetable fat. You can see various cycles per month up here. I'm not going to go over all the cycles per month. Um, you can see we have inputs up here and then all of our outputs down here. And again, you can change them to storing, distributing, or selling. Now, if you want them on, to be used in more recipes, obviously vegetable fat is used in other recipes, then those types of products down here, make sure you have them set to distributing so they just loop right back in here and they don't spawn any pallets that you have to deal with. So that's a good way to go about it. So I would recommend vegetable fat, um, starch, and premium potatoes set to distributing since they're gonna use them again. And if you're gonna make croquettes, probably set mashed potatoes to that, but again, it's kind of up to you. So yeah, we talked about vegetable fat, pretty easy, pretty straightforward to make. Premium potatoes, we're gonna need water. So um, you can put water in as well as your potatoes. So here's where we start using our potatoes to actually make things. French fries, need three premium potatoes and one vegetable fat to make three French fries. So again, you're gonna need to have this process going and you're gonna need to have vegetable fat going in order to produce these. Potato gratin, so we're gonna need three potatoes and now we need cheese as well. So we're gonna have to somehow get a hold of some cheese, whether we have another mod installed, because there are other mods installed where you can buy cheese or other products um, in the store. So you could do that if you didn't wanna have to have a dairy to make your own cheese. And uh, then we move, work our way down to fried potatoes. So now we're gonna use uh, regular potatoes, vegetable fat, water, and now we're using onions. So onions are gonna come from one of those new greenhouses. So we're gonna need those to get that done. 
Then we hop down here to mashed potatoes. We need five regular potatoes. So it is important to note, again, five regular potatoes is definitely different than premium potatoes. So five regular potatoes, water, milk, and butter. Again, some different products that you may wanna buy or do something else to get a hold of. Uh, potato soup, two regular potatoes, water, um, starch, tomato, uh, pepper, and onion to make potato soup. Paprika chips, three premium potatoes, vegetable fat, and peppers. And again, in order to create these different recipes, I guess I should note for you guys as well, if you're newer to protections, um, right here is where they're gonna spawn out, all the pallets are gonna spawn out. And then right over here, all you have to do is dump all those ingredients right here, and they'll go right in there to get things taken care of, um, and everything will be good to go. But yeah, so that's just basically how productions work. But if we hop back into here, um, we go back to where we at paprika chips. We just paprika chips we just talked about. So potato pancakes, uh, four potatoes, vegetable fat, eggs, and flour to make potato pancakes. So for stuffed baked potatoes, we now have a lot of stuff going on. Um, they are going to take uh, three premium potatoes, corn, milk, uh, tomatoes, cheese, peppers, and cucumbers. Then we have potato salad, which we're getting, we're getting even more complex here. Uh, five potatoes, vegetable fat, water, eggs, two tomatoes, two peppers, two onions, and a cucumber. And then croquettes is actually more simple, but again, you have to, to use mashed potatoes, which up here, you're gonna have to do this recipe to get that. Um, then vegetable fat, eggs, and flour to get this out. Um, and again, just a one reiteration too, in case you had any questions about how the cycles per month works. So let's go up to just vegetable fat, a very simple one for one um, conversion here. So this says 10,080 cycles per month. So what that means is every one month in game. So what that means is if you have your, your month set to one day months, that means every day, if you have them set to six day months, that means every six days, this is gonna happen. Um, just to clarify here, um, that means 10,080 times per month, you're gonna take 10,000. So what it's gonna do basically in one month, this is gonna run 10,080 times. So it's gonna use 10,080 liters of uh, sunflower oil, and it's gonna produce 10,080 liters of vegetable fat. So that's how that's gonna work for you. And this one's very similar. So again, instead of using 10,080 liters, this is gonna use 20,160 liters, but it's still the same cycles per month. It's just that there's a two there. So it's doubling up the amount of soy that's being used. So hopefully that kind of clarifies how that works for you guys. If you have any other questions, of course, feel free to uh, drop it down below in the description, or excuse me, in the comments. That way I can answer those questions for you. But yeah, are these products really worth it? So I'm gonna put a chart up on the screen and I'm gonna explain the chart here. So um, the chart that you're seeing up on your screen right now, it has all those products listed on the left-hand side. Now I didn't do the greenhouse products because yes, you're gonna make money off of all of those because you're just putting water in. Now there's a couple of things I'm assuming here. I'm assuming that water is free. I'm assuming you're gonna find a way to get water for free. Most maps have a way for you to get water for free, so I did not include water costs because a lot of people get it for free. Um, and then past that, I use a steam price sheet um, and I use the top store prices. So what does that mean? Well, there's a steam price sheet um, that has basically the uh, different prices for different products that are base game products. I will link that down below in the description if you wanna check that out. I used the average price on there. I didn't use any of the premium price, I used the average prices because that's the most common price you're gonna get. And then for all of these products, in terms of what I listed as my sell price for them or what I used as my sell price, I looked in the store right now and I looked at their highest price, which is probably fairly accurate for what you're gonna get for them. So again, there's some wiggle room in here. These aren't 100% accurate, but this is just kind of a quick brief overview and that'll give you kind of a rough idea of what might be worth doing. So vegetable fat, there it says 4.67 over 4.05. So um, I want to note what these numbers mean, because obviously those are small numbers. That is per cycle. This is how much it costs per cycle um, and how much you're getting per cycle out for the output. So every time one cycle runs. So we know that for a fact that 10,080 cycles are going to run. So every month this is going to happen 10,080 times. Um, so just be aware of that. So technically the input and the outputs are times 10,080 um, if you're looking at it per month basis. But I figured you guys could probably do your own math in terms of that. I just wanted to boil this down to let you know how much profit you're gonna make per cycle um, in there, um, if it's worth actually putting those inputs in to get the outputs. So we'll take a look at that. And the reason it says 4.67 over 4.05 is the 4.67 is gonna be the cost of uh, the oil that you're putting in, and then the 4.05 is gonna be the cost if you use sun, or soybeans, because there's two different recipes in there. So again, your profit per cycle if you use oil is gonna be 0.19, and your profit if you use soybeans is 0.81. Now, if we work our way down to premium potatoes, premium potatoes are actually a loss. You actually take a loss there if you count the price of potatoes going in because um, potatoes are worth a decent amount. Not If you sell them, that's taken into account if you'd sold them at their max price. 
But again, yeah, potatoes are worth a decent amount. So you do take a little bit of loss here, but you still would wanna do that production because again, that's how you're gonna get your starch and it's how you're gonna get your premium potatoes, which you need for other recipes. So that one is probably okay that it's a loss. Um, then we work our way down to French fries at 1.21. Potato gratin actually strangely broke even, which is a little odd. And then fried potatoes at 3.27, then 0.5 for mashed potatoes. But again, mashed potatoes, you might be using them to make croquettes. Um, potato soup, 2.06. Uh, paprika chicks 1. 0, or 1.97, potato pancakes 4.28, um, uh, stuffed baked potatoes at 8.02, and potato salad was pretty much the winner here at 23.19, and then croquettes at 7.50. But again, if we take a look back over to our game here, look at our cycles, one nine. that is a complicated recipe, and it only runs 480 cycles per day, versus a lot of these are more cycles. So, whereas this one that runs at 10,080, if you take the more profitable cycle, which is gonna be your actually your soybeans here, 10,080, hopefully I'm not losing you guys on this one, times 0.81, which is our profit based on our chart, you have the potential to make $8,000 a day in profit by running this, or $8,000 per month in profit by running this, theoretically speaking, if you were to sell the vegetable fat um, right off the top afterwards, versus if we go down to um, the potato salad, which requires all this to get the potato salad out of it, you're only running 480 cycles per, per month, so 480 times that 23.19, you're still making more at $11,000 or just over $11,000, but again, that cycle could depend uh, based on the day, so and all that different stuff. But yeah, that's just kind of a rough idea of how much um, it is that you're gonna make in terms of profit per production cycle that happens, how much your profit is. So I'm taking the cost of the inputs and I'm taking the cost of the outputs and I'm subtracting the output cost or the output profit um, or the output sale from the input cost. So that's just basically how I calculated that. But anyhow, hopefully that was helpful or this video was helpful to you guys. If you guys enjoyed this style of video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.